Hi, y'all. I am Sayward Darby. I am the editor-in-chief of The Atavist Magazine, and I live in Brooklyn, New York. I'm Ed Johnson. Uh, I'm the art director at The Atavist Magazine, and I live in Washington, D.C. So Automatic, as a company, is a big umbrella. It has a lot of different entities and projects underneath it, um, and they all sort of you know, are united around this idea of certainly of making the web a better place, but also of telling great stories and helping other people tell their stories. So the Atavist, I think, is uh, a representation of how uh, Automatic as a brand um, and WordPress.com within that as a you know tool set um, can be very empowering for publishers of all sizes. You know, we're a small publication, not a legacy publication. We consider ourselves pretty nimble and innovative, and that makes sense within the Automatic mandate. We've tried to kind of keep several different funding streams open. So we do have subscribers um, and uh, we again share that money with our contributors because if their stories do well we want them to be compensated for that. Um, the subscriptions money that we get is also matched um, by Automatic. You know to me I had been watching Newspack come together over the last couple of years both as you know a technological toolbox but then also a community of publications and the first part obviously appealed to me, um, but the second part was also really appealing. Um, there are now something like 90 publications in the Newspack network, um, you know, publications big and small, national and local that are using Newspack to publish. And uh, that presents so many interesting opportunities, not only for, you know, learning from, okay, how are they using these tools? Uh, is there something they're doing that's cool that we might want to try? but also opportunities for uh, co-publishing, partnering on stories eventually, um, you know, thinking of ways that almost like that genetic overlap becomes a whole different thing. We've been, you know, planning to move to WordPress.com uh, since Automatic purchased The Atavist in mid-2018. Um, and it took a while to make that happen for a number of different reasons, um, most of them technical, frankly. We had to figure out how to migrate content from the existing platform to the new platform without losing things along the way and hopefully you know keeping things reasonably intact so that uh you know we we would have we wouldn't have to do a ton of work once it got to the new the new site we knew that we wanted to use that opportunity in moving to uh the wordpress.com cms to relaunch and you know reimagine the the magazine it hadn't had a facelift so to speak in a number of years um and we felt like it needed a new look we both saber and i looked at going over to wordpress and and the newspack system um as a chance to reevaluate some of the things that existed i feel a lot of responsibility for you know carrying that vision forward um that the founders set um and i wanted you know Ed especially to leave his aesthetic imprint um, on it. Um, and I, I guess I wanted to leave, you know, my own imprint on it in a way too, but I wanted to make sure that it was still really in keeping with the spirit of the Atavist's origins. I came on as art director when there's already a design in place and I was working mainly on each individual story. And I had a desire to take what I've learned from art directing stories and apply that to the overall design and the uh, whole visual language of the magazine. We have a small team, but also a lot of trust amongst each other where say we're trust me to do my job and to, th and to know that I'm thinking carefully about the decisions I'm making with the design. And so with this, with the, with the redesign, like I actually, I knew it was gonna happen for a while. So I was kind of just thinking and sketching ideas on a notepad and in my, in my various digital files and, and you know, looking at different typefaces and fonts and moving to the role where I was have been here now a couple of years as the art director really wanted to put my imprint on the overall uh, visual language. Um, I really try to think about what the publication is and how that should affect how the design, what the end design is. And you know, the Atavis is super unique compared to most places I've worked or other publications. Publishing one long thing every month um, that is really designed and intended for people to slow down and appreciate. Um, that should that informed every design decision I made. We're in a unique position where we don't have display ads that we're serving, and we don't want people to read a million stories. We really want them if they read one of our stories in terms of the, the typography and the overall aesthetic is just like kind of bring a more literary quality out into the new designs. So it was a very easy process from getting a visual direction going. Um, and then that was like all I made that, you know, static mockups on my computer. We talked about it. We, we talked about different ideas and what, what the thinking behind it was. Um, 
And then, you know, I turned it into a living website once we, uh, once we moved to WordPress. So one of the things that was exciting, I think for us about moving to Newspack as built on the latest iteration of WordPress.com is that, uh, you know, WordPress has been moving into uh, a block organized CMS over the last uh, couple of years, I guess. And the Atavist platform was a very block based platform. There was just a certain kind of almost like a sensory memory of like, oh yeah, like I need the block for this. Let me go get it. One of the great things about Newspack is how easy I think it is for publishers to use. Things have been curated for them in terms of, you know, how a website, you know, needs to look for a publication, you know, stories, headers, titles, you know, uh, author names, like all the different features that public publications need. Um, but then because we have this very story focused, almost like bespoke design for each one of our uh, features. I hope that we can also be a showcase for the ways in which like Newspack as a toolkit is also very malleable. I've been around the block with, with uh, publication websites and uh, it's always a pain, as Sayward said, to change CMSs and often everything breaks and then you just spend a long time fixing it. And I feel like this particular transition went much more smoothly. Uh, than previous ones I've been involved with because we are coming into an ecosystem that's already very publisher focused. One of the nice things about joining Automatic was that we immediately had a sister publication in Longreads, which has been a part of the Automatic family for a few years longer than we have. And now that we are on Newspack and using WordPress.com, we are even more deeply integrated with Longreads, which has been on WordPress.com for, for several years. Um, and so a good example of this is that we've recently started running excerpts of Out of His Stories on long reads. And that's great from an engagement perspective for both publications. And then there really was a sprint at the end of a couple of weeks where the content had migrated. Um, the redesign was like the, the skeleton of it was in place. Um, and then we really had to dig in to uh, make sure that everything looked as we wanted it to look, whether we were talking about, you know, the newest stories or stories from, from way back when. There are always hiccups and setbacks and obstacles. My main tasks were, yeah, making sure that what makes the Atavist special was intact. So there was definitely a, a, a sense of like reputation from both a, um, a tech perspective um, and an aesthetic perspective. This was a big move. It was a nerve wracking move as all major technological changes are for uh, publications. Um, I'm a perfectionist. And so, uh, you know, I probably made the stakes higher than they, than they needed to be. The best way people can support The Atavist is by subscribing. Um, you can go to magazine.atavist.com slash subscribe. That's, that's by far the best way to support the magazine, not only because you are, you know, giving dollars to us, but because we give those dollars, some of those dollars, 50% of those dollars to our writers through our royalties program, and also because Automatic matches our subscription. We just love when people talk about our stories, share our stories, engage with our stories. So if you read something, tweet about it, uh, share it on your blog, uh, tell your friends about it. The reaction has been really positive. Um, Ed and I had a funny moment the other day where he said, have you looked at the traffic just to make sure we're still getting traffic? <laughs> like, people are actually like, you know, the, the links are working. <laughs> we are still getting traffic.